Hello everyone, welcome to Code One, and uh, today I'm going to show you another project in PHP. So, as a backend, we are using MySQL, and uh, front end or server side, as a front end, we are using HTML and CSS and JavaScript for server side. This time, we are using PHP. So, this is PHP project it's called Online Online Quiz System. So, it's our home page, like, uh, and uh, so that project is running on the ZOMP ZOM server so you can deploy it on the, on the ZOM server and let's understand the complete flow of the application how the application and the things is working over there so there are there, there, there is a two user the first one is the admin and the second one is a user it means the student who is going to <coughs> perform the test or quiz so over the admin so the login id and the password for the admin is admin at the red admin .com and admin so admin can log in from the blue button here in the footer section you can see that this is the footer and actually it's a home page and the home page this is a header and this is the login for the user candidate and user a new user can register from there from this form and that is we have the footer footer section under the footer section we have login admin login so let's log in as an admin and check what admin can do here so as i logged in so this is the uh, data available in the database for the student whatever the student will give the quiz till now so under the user section admin can check the user detail admin can perform all the um, um, common things like uh, shorting the data according to the name gender college email and admin can delete the any user admin can edit any user so this is the edit form here we have and um, that pagination thing is there so you can filter the data according to the record so right now this is a save and record so time selection is good and now if I check the ranking, so whatever the score this student gonna uh, make for the first and second ranking, two merit list are there. So here is the feedback forms, quiz. So the well, most important module of the project is quiz. So how can we set a quiz or how can we set an examination? So when you ever I mean, you click on the add quiz, so you can click, he will get this beautiful form and enter the quiz title, so testing quiz. I'm going to enter here and so this should be testing exam and the total number of questions like I said five questions are there and enter the marks on the right answer so I want to one marks and enter the minus marking if is there any minus marking so I set as a one and enter the time limit of the test so I said five minutes so enter the description here so this is the dummy test and click on the submit button so data is submitted and now it's asked for the enter the question so I'm gonna enter the question one Question one, for example, you can write anything, any, any, any question. For well, I'm entering the dummy data here, and so the answer one is sorry, answer one should be answer two, answer three, three, and answer four. And select the correct answer. For example, I select here answer four. This should be D. So, and the second question, so question 2 and again the answer 1 answer 2 answer 3 answer 4 and in, in, in the same manner we can uh, add the data here and uh, we can uh, add the data as an admin so admin will add the data <coughs> And after the editing the data, he can remove the quiz also, like whatever the quiz you want to remove, he can remove the quiz here. So, like testing example, total question is five is there, this is added and showing here. So, for even wants to delete the quiz, he can delete easily. So, right now we have this uh, 
series there some some, some series have a five questions some series have a ten question and according to the data is there again on this table also you can perform the sorting and searching operation like if you run until 20 so it will filter the data according to the time it is going to enter 4 if you want to enter search by name so it will work as a search by name also so these are the main features the admin can perform so the basically the task for the admin is like uh, admin uh, should be add uh, data in the database and the user role will come to retrieve the data from there so let's uh, register as a new user enter the name so i'm going to insert the demo let's select this gender as a male and enter the college name cs yes. and the id is demo at the rate gmail.com and enter the mobile number we'll say two three four five six seven eight nine ten any uh, ten digit mobile number and the password again one two three four five six one two three four five six so when i click on the sign up button the data is user is logged in in the application and it will get the uh, all the queues available queues so for example I, I select a quiz on the Linux editor and I click on the start the quiz so it will create the questions so for example I don't know the right answer here so I'm gonna enter some data some random data so I'm gonna submit second question and submit the third question and submit and the fourth question and submit and the next question so there is only one option so Submit. So the right answer is one. Total question was five. The wrong answer was four, and the score is minus two because there will be some minus marking. So that's it. So the result is uh, here. And if a user want to check the ranking, he can check the ranking. Right now the user demo three, so the ranking is the third. So mm, the data is uh, not available enough data is not available in the data this was showing the third ranking according to this score so the first score is eight is the top ranker and the second one for three and the minus two is the last ranker so if you want to check the history you can check the history you get the, uh, he already done this 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 demo user already done with this test if i switch to home and you can check the mark here has changed the color is changed in the green and uh, the start button is also turned into the restart so it means you this user already done with this test and admin also can check this data overall so i'm going to sign out and again I'm going to log in as admin so or as admin is going to log in in the footer section so let's log in as admin again and so if we want to check the user or gonna check the ranking so the new ranking is there and the user so these are the user the new registered user demo is here so this is the complete overall functionality of the application and uh, this is completely as I told earlier this is built in the PHP and if you need the source code you can check the description box in the comment comment section you can navigate to the codewind.com you can check all the details about the about the project about the content and about the technologies in the project price so you can contact me over the detail so uh, in that page you also get my detail uh, contact details so you can contact me over that um, there so we'll provide the complete source code and we'll make sure it will run at your machine we'll assign a uh, team member with you uh, 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 assistant with you he will help you to configure that project at your machine and thank you if you like this please subscribe if you want to share the source code with someone who want to learn or who want to finish his college's minor or major project you can share that with them thank you